In this video, we're going to be finding the surface area of this composite solid. Remember, a composite solid is a 3D figure made up of two or more solids. Let's look at the solid that is on the top, the smaller solid, and I'm going to have us start examining the height of the solid. So the height here is 9 inches, and I just want us to study this shape a little bit and realize that Every vertical line, every height here, is also going to be 9 inches. So all of these that I just drew in, 9 inches, 9 inches, 9 inches. Then I also want us to choose a different color and show that this horizontal line here is also 9 inches. This horizontal line here is also 9 inches. And then we sh see this measurement here, which tells us that this line going across horizontally this way is 9 inches. So I hope that you have figured out that this figure is a cube because every single side length is equal to 9 inches. So if you just take one of the faces from this cube, it would be a 9 foot by 9 foot. So I want us to start by just finding the area of this face, this square face. So we write out length multiplied by width for the area of a square, and that will be 9 multiplied by 9, which gives us 81 square inches. From here, I want us to count how many of these 9 by 9 faces we have. So I want you to think about how we have a face here. Actually, let me make this the second thickness so you can see this a little bit better. We have a face here on the right, and we have a face here that's on the left. So that accounts for two faces. So I'll put two in that color, two faces. Then let's choose another color. I'll make the front face red, and then picture the back face being red. That's two more faces. And then we also have this top face in green, and we can't include the base of this cube because the base of this cube is actually, you want to picture it being glued to this larger cube. You can't, if it was glued together like that, you wouldn't be able to touch the bottom of this baby cube. So it is not included in the surface area. The surface area is each face that you can, you can physically touch if you are holding this object. And you can't touch the inside of this solid. So we would only include the top face here. So in total, that is five of those 9x9 nine nine faces. So all we have to do is multiply this by 5. Um, 1 times 5 is 5, and 8 times 5 is 40, so that's 405. So that's the first part that I'm going to put in my chart. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to start my chart. And I want it to be the smaller size. So I'll go to the smallest dot, and I'll write number of faces and then area, and then I'll draw my line. And then I'll draw one more line. And then I'll go back to my writing and I'll fill in the 405, and that's square inches. And that's the area of those five squares that are nine by nine. Now we're finished with the little baby cube and we're ready to move down to this larger cube. I don't want to take as much time in this larger cube. I just want you to realize that each face is 15 by 15. So then what we can do is we can start writing out the area. The area of one of these faces would be length times width, which the length and the width are 15. So we multiply 15 by 15 and we get 225 square inches. But from here, we want to we want to do this in a smart way to save time and we just want to count how many 15 by 15 faces there are. 
So there's one on the right. There's one face on the left. There's one face in the front. There's one face, okay, you have to picture it in the back. And there's also the bottom face. So the this is the back, this is the bottom face, even though they both say B. So that is also five faces. The top face, we're gonna have to deal with this later because just this little sliver here, this sliver on the side and this sliver on the side. So that's gonna be the hardest part of this. But for now, we're gonna just multiply the 225 by, there were five of those 15 by 15s. So 225 multiplied by five gives me 1,125 square inches. And that's for five more faces. So now the last thing we need to look at, let me pick a good color for this. Mm, I might just stick with pink. Color this in so you can see what I'm looking at. We're dealing with this little sliver right here. So when I draw it over here, it's only going to be like an outside sliver. Now think about it. What is blocking part of this and making it so that we just have this tiny little outline, make it a little bit thicker so that when I color it in you can see this better. So for this outline to be super thin, we have to have the inside part be blocked by something. And what it's being blocked by is this cube. And that cube we know the dimensions of. We know that this cube is nine by nine. Each side actually is nine. And then we know for the larger, the outer portion, let's use a different color, we'll use orange. This orange part on the outside Okay, that is hard to see. Let's try, maybe green's a better contrast and I'll make it a little bit thicker. And we know that this square on the outside, that each edge of this is 15 inches, 15 inches. So all we have to do to find the area of just the sliver, this little like part that I colored in darker in pink is you take 15 and multiply it by 15. That was our 225. And then you subtract, let me give our color to this. Let's make it dark blue. This inner portion is nine by nine, which gives us a, an area of 81. And we're gonna be left over with the pink sliver which is this little just part that I shaded in. So we're taking the, the larger square, 225, and subtracting the smaller squares area, 81, and we're left with 144, an area of 144. So that little pink sliver area is 144 square inches. So we had to do some subtraction to figure out and you know we're gonna call it one face but remember that it just was like the sliver on the outside like that edge portion it's not really even an entire face so from here we have found the area of every single face so we can add up all of these areas to find the total surface area of this composite solid so we had 405 plus 1,125 plus 144 to get our final answer of 1,674 square inches. And that represents the total surface area. Basically, the outside area that you would paint. So if you had a paintbrush, everything that you could paint on this figure the total surface area here is 1,674 square inches.